the tears fall down her face the pain is real and it's starting to show Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here. And what's going to be a bulldoze of a match? I don't care who you are. Johnny the Jojo Jobber. The Worm. Oh, I forgot. Alex Clown. Out of rage. Out of Clown. Oh, sorry. Job City. The Job Squad. Against Big G. Oh, man. A man-made monster, motherfucker. We'll see what happens here tonight. Wow. Big G finding his way into TWE Paradise. Talent Wrestling Entertainment, this is insane. With Eternal. Thank you for sticking with us during that commercial break. You know, I'm really excited for the main event. Uh, you know, Tommy Ventura... Uh, It'd be nice to see what he can do here tonight at Extreme Aggression. Uh, but focusing on this match, uh, it's, it's going to be great. It really is. The following contest is a three-on-one handicap match. Introducing first, you know, I'm sure we're really excited. Romania, uh, for TikTok and Tommy in Ventura, at three hundred and thirty-two pounds. The match. Ah, uh, you know, big. it's hard to tell. She uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give my money on uh, TikTok. I think he's just level-headed uh, when it comes to a, a a guy in the stature of Tommy Ventura. You know, uh, it's hard to tell though. Tommy Ventura definitely has got something to the game uh, that we haven't seen before in a lot of guys. Uh, but TikTok, I think, getting in the mind of people got that arrogance. But a lot of times, it uh, wins him his bout. So I'm gonna give it to TikTok. I definitely understand that. Big G coming out with a vengeance and a dominance. <laughs> you know, if he wins here tonight, I, I'm, I'm going to lose faith in the other three. I mean, you got three guys on one. Wow! I've never seen this guy before. Wow! Who what is this? Years? Johnny the Jojo Jobber, Dumbo the Elephant Ears, Alex Rage on his debut here tonight. Well, you better be careful. He can hear you all the way the hell over there. The big ass ears. <laughs> you know, I hope to see you. You know, he looks like he could be a main event guy one of these days. What do you think? I don't know. With that riding lawnmower, it's hard to tell. Well, that's a take, man. Why is he uh, wow. coming down to the very bottom? Flamboyant. <laughs> Real flashy. Did he make his way from Hogwarts? <laughs> Better be careful. Big G looking, looking pissed. <laughs> you know, I heard from Big G before this match. He uh, 
called uh, the Wow, Green you got him to speak more event. than just a couple of mumble words, huh? And yeah, he just said, York, he's supposedly Green supposed to be a man, uh, vampire, man-made monster from Extreme Adam, Edgar. Come Extreme come Edgar's done man. with him, and I don't ever want to see him make a match, make a uh, spot on the roster here. Uh, yeah, you never know. You could see him make a debut. You never know, but Extreme Edgar... I uh, had his fair share of days in uh, team wrestling entertainment. It was uh, good to see. But uh, I, I don't know if we're going to see him here on talent wrestling entertainment. Is there a chance Big G loses here tonight? I think Big G just squashes the hell out of these guys. Six foot one, at, you know, upwards of 200, 300 plus pounds, you know. And the guy's insane. And here we are. Wow. A slithery little worm. 143 pounds. Wow, I thought I would have guessed 120. <laughs> Damn near the same as little JoJo. <laughs> Except we know where would win against uh, Extreme Austin. You can hear the fans just screaming him on, man. He's in great shape here tonight. Great to be here on part of TWE. Big G looks pissed off. <laughs> Big G! <laughs> Coming <laughs> off the top, already a stat establishing every oh bit of dominance here Big tonight. G is such a guy. <laughs> Such a badass! It's great to see. Such a badass out here tonight. Wow! Already wow! Could have seen that end of it there. <laughs> Working on the head. All it took was one hit for him. One hit. Not kidding on that. But he oh! calculated it. God damn! He is such a badass. Come on in! The water's fine! Adam Clown knows what's going on! And he said, Whoa! cut it off! You don't want in? I'll let you out! Jesus, Adam Clown looks like he wants nothing to do with it. Pure speed and mobility. Is it enough? Can he get him from the outside? Cut off, nothing. Fighting his ever loving ass off to keep it going against Big G. Kick to the gut! Wow! I didn't know Big G could be hit so hard. <laughs> Couldn't quite get him there. What did you think you were gonna lift him up? Johnny the JoJo Jobber Dumbo Elephant Ears? Uh-oh, pure strength. Just enough to stop him. Just to get him stunned. Gets him in the corner. Can he get anything on Big G to keep him down longer than two seconds? Can he keep him down longer than two seconds? Johnny the JoJo Jobber has nothing to do here. He got the tag. That has to piss him off. My God. Nothing. Not enough weight behind it. Can the corner move? Do it. It got him. That's not enough when it comes to Big G. And we're only three minutes into this match. Good kick to the back of the head. Uh, 
right in the corner. Cut off immediately. Going to tap him out. Going to tap him out. Big boot. Huge clothesline. Firing up. The fam in the back said, I feel the power. What, the power? Hour? Or the clock tower of power. Just pure domination. Doesn't want anybody interfering with this match. He's got to call it off here. Nothing. This could end it all right here. Meat grinder! We're only four minutes in. This could be it. No one's making their way in. That's it. Big G, <laughs> domination. They said they wanted nothing to do with that. Big Ben right there. I can't believe it, it took him long enough. He did a great job. He executed on the moment he should have and barely pulled out a win. It was great to see. Utter mistakes were made the gutter and the meat grinder taking all night long Here is your winner, the <laughs> it sure did take all night big long uh big g, g came out with the win and uh defied the odds i didn't think he was gonna win there tonight but uh he uh he pulled it out now he's two and oh he knew what he had in stock And that's it. We will see you in the next fight of the night. See you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to our second match here of the night. As you've seen, Big G take on three uh, incredible superstars. Big G manhandled these guys and won his match here tonight. Uh, absolutely dominated his way through TWE revamp, talent wrestling entertainment. Big G crowned and showed why that six foot one 300 plus pound giant needs to be respected extreme rules match in jm versus el numero uno the number one uh luchador we don't know who's behind the mask but this is insane shooter nine better yet known as insane introducing eternal and spo <clears throat> welcome here guys it's me eternal we are here it is extreme Aggression here tonight, TWE match. pay per view. Welcome, Making guys, for watching in. Thank you for joining in. This New is the uh, event that everybody is working on. Everybody's worked hard. All these superstars have done to get to this point. Um, but SPO, welcome here. Thank you, Eternal. And this is once again SPO. Um, hopefully, we can get over the brutal massacre we just saw in the last match. Uh, hopefully, we can get back to a little more classic, dignified wrestling. But all I know is there's going to be a lot more action, and we're getting ready to come up on this next match. I know. I mean, it's absolute insane how Big G just manhandled, uh, pinned those guys one, two, three, uh, found a way around it, slammed up, down, left, right, you way you call it. But Big G just found a way to manhandle each three one of these and guys wow. here. El Numero Uno is supposed to be uh, apparently a superstar that's a veteran we're not sure we've tried to look through the list nobody in comparison but we don't know who's under that mask but never know uh el numero gonna find his way into the ring here tonight to have a great match against uh njm yep that's can't say it better myself we don't know who he is we just know he is el numero uno he is the number one contender for this match i believe you know we don't know much about him but i know njm is out for blood he lost that match in a very close fatal four-way i think he gets revenge here tonight what do you think insane uh, i think njm takes this one no problem about it as you know he's got to show support for tiktok here 
tonight. TikTok's got a great matchup and main event against the very well close contest, Tommy Ventura. NJM knows that he couldn't be out here to help out, but let me tell you, NJM for sure is gonna pull his weight when it comes to winning a match here tonight. That's no doubt about that. <clears throat> wow, what a face to the turnbuckle. You know, it's just hard to see how they carry around those heavy vests. They really are some strong men. Oh, definitely. And you can see it adds to the uh, the persona. Uh, it, look, it looks great. It feels probably great. I bet you they can cushion some of those, uh, those blows like they would need it anyway. But uh, some tough guys behind some uh, battle-worn uh, armor here. In JM. That high oh, fly personality. Flash. In JM doing chance? exactly what I told you he would tonight. Is there any chance that there's a new member of the drop? Because I heard from the last match uh, that we saw when I went off the air, someone was rumoring that there's a new member of the drop. Is this correct, SPO? Because I knew you spoke to NJM earlier. Well, like I know with the drop, they keep uh, the tend to keep their secrets private so they didn't really let me know too much there are rumors but nothing has been confirmed yet um if there is to be anything confirmed we probably won't find out until either later this month or at the next showing yeah and you definitely could tell uh there's a lot of speculation going into who could join the drop like they've always said uh drop is the biggest thing around and will always continue to be regardless win lose or draw they are the highlight of the company they show you exactly why they are on top and why you will fall hence the drop um they will continuously show you why uh-oh uh-oh one of our partner companies wow it is finn Bauer. Wow, NJM didn't realize he knew it. And he's going to take advantage. It was a fake, a fraud. It's a fake. NJM. It's a scandal. Wait, wait. Hold on. You can't see it on the screen right now, but it's showing his partner. It's TikTok. TikTok, what do you have to say? Because I know we can hear you right now. TikTok. All I've got to say... There's nothing to worry about. NJM's got this. I've got a match later tonight. Don't bother asking me any more questions. Because <laughs> wow, you he know. Was really aggressive. He was really aggressive. SPO, what was your thoughts on that little... It was just a good little fake out. It got really into the head of El Numero Uno. But he does seem to be pulling back. But he probably is keeping one eye down that ramp just in case things go weary. Why did we see Finn Balor? He's not a part of this promotion. Do you think it was something to hype up the drama in the wrestling companies right now? It could have been. It could have just been a fear tactic because we do know that there was a rivalry between El Numero Uno and Finn Balor when they were in the indie circuit. So it could be a, just a mind trick that TikTok played on. You know, I really forgot that. I know someone did say that he was in the indie circuit. But I heard he was one of the top rated stars. And wow, he's going for the finish! Oh, super kick! NJM! One, two, massive! Yo, oh, barely! That had to have been a three! Come on, ref! He calls oh, that the NJ Massacre! That was phenomenal! Was getting set up. What is the crowd chanting? I can't hear them! Oh, you can hear them! There's just too many of them! One. Quick one, really just enough to one. think. Yeah. And so what did you think about that little spill? You know, can never take TikTok too serious. He's probably thinking about his match heavily here. He's liked by everyone and hated by everyone at the same time. What did you I think about his little bout uh, up in the stands here while he came to spectate NJM real quick, using Finn Balor's music to the advantage? I gotta say, what really, what it really does is it really takes him not too serious. It doesn't seem he's focused on his match. It seems he wants to come in and bother other matches, which I think he needs to focus on his own because he has a very good opponent upon him. What do you think there, SPL? It's, 
it's just all part of TikTok's plan. We've seen it once. We've seen it a thousand times with him. He loves to get inside of these opponents' mindset. Him coming out here and showing no regard for his match later on, it just shows that he's not that worried about his opponent. Right, definitely in just a spur of cockiness. But what if we? that's what makes you love and hate him at the same time. Uh, and same thing why he pairs up so well with the drop. Uh, and, you know, speculation down a member, uh, Kid Crush, you, Kid Crush uh, uh, used to be part of the uh, drop back in the day. It looks like uh, he might find his way back in there. Maybe that's the rumors you guys are talking about. Uh, you but know TikTok what gotta, knows what he's doing when it comes to recruiting, and you never know. You know what I got to say? Just to make this win more impressive for NJM, El Numero Uno was the highest rated indie star for a long time and not only that he is undefeated with 36 wins so njm would look great on the stat sheet if he wins here tonight and as we said this was a superstar that apparently used to help out with tw every now and then Massacre trying to get the finish will this be 36 NJM and one and it could on the indie like circuit for El Numero Uno. one one two, two. And that's it, NJM, 36 and one. As you can see, El Numero Uno now became El Numero Uno's first L. So. Maybe that's what the one meant in his name. El Numero Uno lost. TikTok, see him up in the bleachers there, clapping, nodding his head, keeping him off camera, keeping him focused. The guys, that was a match and a sight to see, NJM completely showed you why the drop is the real deal so true you can never count the drop out on anything they are psychological they are brutal they are ruthless they will take advantage of any opening that you give them they are a viper waiting to strike at their any signs of weakness definitely right there so any last closing messages before we get to that commercial break all i gotta say is in j massacre Thank you for a great match. I'm one of your biggest fans. I think you deserve the main event spot at the next pay-per-view. I definitely agree with that. So me and myself and I, I'm going to go ahead and close off with a thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you here shortly. Snap it to a Slim Jam. Yes. And boys and girls, welcome back to TWE Revamp Talent Wrestling Entertainment. It is your guy, Insane Br Shoot a Nine, Insane, better yet known as. Uh, we've got a mystery matchup here, a parent debut. Uh, let's find out. Ace Dynamite, welcome, SPO and Eternal. Hello, guys. So, who is the mystery man coming out here tonight, and what does he bring to the table? I'm not sure who this is. Who is this? Dynamite? We haven't got to hear everybody's debut music and everything wow. yet, so we're trying to figure it. Wait! What? What is this? Oh my God. SPO! It is Trey Masters! I am at a lot of words right now. Trey this Masters has been, been years! This is the biggest number one superstar the of Team Wrestling is Entertainment is back. Match. Trey Making his Masters. Way to the ring. No New York way he's back here tonight. You better pounds. believe it, Eternal. He is standing it's right true. there. The true. God amongst gods, Master. the man amongst men, the man, the myth, the legend. Trey Masters is back in the arena. Oh Trey my Masters. God. You figure somebody only... like this would come back after <laughs> the guy that's already been introduced, Ace Dynamite. But Trey Masters said he's got to be the first one here to wow. step up into the ring. What makes me so feared for his opponent is Trey Masters is worthy of a main event match. Wow, this is so exciting. Ace Dynamite, we haven't seen him yet. This is his debut match, but he is facing one of the legends of Teen Wrestling Entertainment, SBO. What is your thoughts on this? This return? I mean, it, this right here is the Mr. Main Event himself. Any match he puts on is always a five-star rating. Never a dull moment with him. Ace Dynamite, I really feel bad for this guy that this is his first opponent in his debut. You never you know, know. You see an undercard like Ace Dynamite come out here flying hot. We don't know how big he is. He could be huge. He could be small. He's looking like a great stature, great gimmick. 
Uh, but you never know. Let's see if this uh, Ace Diamond Knight uh, can do something here tonight. You could see him pull something out of the bag. And his opponent yep, we definitely could definitely see Israel. that. But he is going to be working against Trey Masters. Pounds. This is going to be a very hard fought battle for him. If he does hope to get the victory, he's going to have to pull some things out of his hat. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of Trey Masters, there's rumors going around. You know, there's plenty of rumors going around. There always is. But there's rumors that Trey Masters and Tommy Ventura are brothers. Oh, we've heard this back early in the days. And as you can see, you know, uh, somebody very similar and very alike, TikTok. Um, <laughs> they look all just so similar, but you wouldn't believe it. They are different. They're all different. But the thing about this is, here tonight, all that matters is not Tommy Ventura and his being his brother. It's Ace Dynamite versus Trey Masters in an opening match here uh, for a double debut. We saw Trey Masters' Twitter account. He was posting on his Twitter, hyping up the match of Tommy Ventura and TikTok. Who was he going for? I know you like to keep up with this stuff, uh, Insane. So what What did he have on that? Well, I so think the, the biggest thing... Yeah, the biggest I thing here, I believe Trey Masters always in the supporting corner of uh, his brother there, so I think uh, he knows the realization. And here we go. Coming wow. out hot, Ace, Ace Dynamite. Dynamite. Big wow. weight difference Jeez. and a big weight ratio difference, I've noticed, as soon as they started the bell. You'd see Ooh, about Ace a one Dynamite. to two inch, uh, one to two inch difference in uh, height and stature here, similar build. Uh, but as far as the height here, uh, you can definitely see about a two-inch difference here. We're gonna bring him out into the corner. Great reversal. Ace Dynamite really taking it in this match. He's really one to wear down Trey Masters. He does not want Trey Masters to get into his zone and cause a turn in this event. No, definitely not. Because if you let him get into his element and you get him his clock tower of power. Uh, that it could be it, or you could see the end oh, of time. Mission hold right here by Ace Dynamite. Could this be the end? Nope. Trey Masters reverses it. Still a little hurt. Trey Masters was rated the number one wrestler in teen wrestling entertainment. Do you think he has this dominance moving forward in talent wrestling entertainment? Uh, you can definitely see why, but uh, you've also got big stars like MJM. You've got uh, Tommy Ventura. you got TikTok. Look There's so the much. This just in. Wow. Ow. That's the That's element you're weird. talking about. You know, in the interview room, Ace Dynamite said, I don't give a dang who comes out. I don't care. I really wouldn't mind if it was Big G or three of them. Just being I plain cocky. Double axe handle. Found a way back up. Ace Dynamite. Ace right, Dynamite. Back up. right back at it. You know, there is a chance Ace Dynamite Ooh, is hitting in Trey on. Master's head. He could be in his head. It could be. Ooh, Trey right Master's making head. a late debut. Uh, you know, it's been a while. You could see him pull something off here. Might have to put some recovery into it. Not even a two count. You know what we found out? Looking back on, at all the footage, Trey Masters never went past the one count. So that is how legendary this superstar is. I wish we could right here from Ace Dynamite. Oh, ooh, ooh, DDT. DDT. Did he go past one? one? No, it's another early kick out. Still a one kick out. Oh, looking oh, for it. And here comes the dynamite. Here comes the dynamite. Here comes the dynamite. Wow. Beautiful. DDT Canadians destroyer of some sort. Miss super kick. Oh, Big right. And Trey Masters back on the offensive. Uh-oh. Is this clock tower power? Are we going to see it? Clock tower power. Wait a second. Out oh. of the ring. Wow, look at the speed of this young man. And the ref. What is the ref? The ref. Doing? That was three a long time ago. That what is that? The ref got he only had to go past a one count. Trey Masters still has yet to That was over. That was a three. I don't know, but care believe, or what anybody says. But I believe that that all happened so fast and so smoothly that the ref was still lost in time and he could not keep up with that movement. I almost forgot that it's a false tell anywhere match. Right. 
If Trey hits the clock tower of power, Ace Dynamite's gonna get his ass in time. You, ne you never know. You might see the end of time. Uh, you see a couple finishing moves that uh, Trey Masters has mastered over time. You could see it here tonight, but great reversals nonetheless. Is this it? This is this is it? Tower, tower of power. power. Wow. You know the last time someone got put in this situation. Hey. What? And he wants more. And that's the finish. That's it. The end of time. Could that be enough to put Ace Dynamite away? One, two, two. And that's it, my God. Just doesn't matter for size. Doesn't matter for weight. It didn't even look like Ace Dynamite had a chance out there. But for a couple little bouts here in tonight's fight, what did you think Trey Masters looked like? What a return. I could not believe he returns and he still wins the match. There is still a TWE title that has not been put out yet. But if I wanted to put a contender out, it would be Trey Masters. He has still yet to go to a two count. He is only kicked out at one every single time. SPL, what is your thoughts on this Trey Masters? This outcome is exactly what I thought it was going to be. I knew his prowess. I knew he was going to take a lot for him to get taken down. And once he gets into his element, Ace Dynamite did not stand a chance. Now, what did you think about going into this? You know, we didn't see Ace Dynamite. We've only heard about him on the indie scene, you know, doing great things. Um, he had a little bit of mix of a high flies, got some powerhouse, definitely had the two inch height difference. Uh, now, the stature was not a whole lot different. They're both similar builds when it comes to muscle. So you couldn't really call Trey Masters the underdog, but you would definitely say as far as uh, height uh, and everything goes, that uh, he is a light heavyweight. Uh, Ace Dynamite is a heavyweight. Uh, I mean, what were you thinking about uh, when it comes to the difference there? Because Trey Masters definitely, you know, the debut could have possibly played a good part into the momentum. But what did you think about the differences between a light heavyweight, a heavyweight, and heights and weights and muscles and everything like that playing the part tonight? Well, when it comes to guys like Trey Masters, you really can't count into those in the effect we've seen him take on light heavyweights cruiserweights heavyweights super heavyweights and still come out on top my guess is that east dynamite should have taken a little bit more time and trained and studied trey masters before coming in it with his cocky attitude you know i gotta say if i was the booker of twe i would definitely not want to be put up against trey masters in my first debut match it really right. makes me look like a pansy <laughs> and it definitely you did you see in a whole uh pretty much five foot eleven six foot uh Trey masters goes up against to a six two bigger than big g uh ace dynamite here tonight and you know, and you've I, seen a a brutal matchup here Trey when masters I seen came out the on. dynamite when i seen him try to hit the dynamite and he hit it he landed it and he still kicked out at one <laughs> that is why i think Trey Masters is a legend and the best superstar in this company. Well, it's it's very arguable. You can see, like I said, there's a lot of options here on the list, but definitely a spectacle and a highlight of the show. It's like when you watch WWE and you hear uh, Undertaker uh, holding the streak down at WrestleMania up until the very bitter end. What did you think of uh, besides him going up into the main event? Well, you could never forget about the Wrestle. Mania's show stopper, uh, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. So it, it's the same thing. You know, they're the, both the talk of the town, which side of town you're walking on and who's going to be talking when you're there. You see what I mean? So there's not a big difference between uh, who who's here, who's there. Yes, it built up for the main event, and I'm really excited to see the main event. And uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to that. I really enjoyed that match, and I hope to see more like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you here in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Extreme Aggression. Extreme Austin versus Little JoJo in a steel cage match here tonight. Eternal, you here with us? Sure am. 
All right, what do you think about this match going into the night? SPO had to uh, run off to the bathroom. I don't think he's going to quite make it back. He ate a bean burrito and a side of jalapeno kettle chips. You know, it's great to see uh, Extreme Austin, what he's done. You know, this is uh, the first match uh, <clears throat> that he's had since he lost to uh, Travis Stevenson. The following contest uh, is a steel cage match. Here. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 191 pounds, X Austin, the wow. X Factor. All right, I personally see uh, Extreme Austin taking the win here tonight against uh, Little JoJo. Uh, I'd see it fairly being pretty quick too. I believe pinfall submissions and climb out are uh, all liable in this match. Yeah, uh, you know, I can't go with you on this one. Um, I, I really got to give it to little JoJo, man. He's a, he's a new superstar who uh, just, uh, he's, uh, it's, it's just exciting to see what he brings to the table, being Floyd Mayweather's uh, nephew. You know, uh, as, as much as you want to believe that, sure. Where is the little turd? Oh, there he is. So cute. <laughs> Call him a turd. And his opponent is from Chicago, down here, down here. Illinois, weighing in at 146 pounds. Little you know, he's a big Joe. guy with Joe. a big mindset, a big will to win tonight. You know, one of the things that he told me before this match, I don't give a crap about anybody but myself i don't care about the fans i don't even need fans fans are stupid <laughs> well extreme austin's gonna show them why here tonight still cage wasn't the best choice coming <laughs> <laughs> out to old goldberg song at a whole whopping five foot five 126 good. pounds. He looks in great shape. He looks like one of the best physique uh, superstars on the roster. He looks great. Sound like you're a little shy kid at a candy store that's only got a dollar fifty, but the item costs a dollar seventy-five. Everything all right there, Eternal? Uh, you know, I just think that uh, he's gonna win here tonight, man. Uh, yeah. This is a great match. This uh, match is probably going to be a main event match. Wow. Match. Going for it. <laughs> Coup de gras. Off the top. Flew like a damn feather in the wind. That's how light he is. Yeah, really <laughs> good He's just a great you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I think he goes <clears throat> off the win here today. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, missed the crossbody. <laughs> you know, I'm still shocked at the fact you called him a little turd. Because uh, he might come out here and whoop your ass. I'd love to see him try. <laughs> you know, if I could put you into one thing, I'd uh, compare you as TikTok. Mixed TikTok because of his arrogance <laughs> and the strength of uh, you know little uh, NJM. Let's see if JoJo can make it up. Stream Austin's down. Even as a little feather, doesn't look like he'd move very fast. <laughs> Whole 126 pounds, five foot five, making his way up. <laughs> and he soon will be down. You know, Great reversal. You call him a feather when he can whip your ass. Love to see him try. But here he goes. <laughs> Looking like Goldberg. He said Goldberg Schmoldberg. 
You ain't got nothing on me. You know, I don't think that uh, Extreme Muscle beats him. Jojo is just in great shape. Uh, you know, Mayweather trained him for his first fight, which is uh, here tonight. And, um, I'm excited to see what he brings to the table. Oh, one. <laughs> just a one count. Not enough. You know, he reminds me a lot of that one guy that uh, Big G fought earlier. Uh, you know, the three guys, Alex Rage, Adam Clown, and uh, The Worm. Uh, he looks like a much stronger version of The Worm. I can see that. Uh, it's great to see him here tonight. Opening it up. I think he's out of here. There's no chance that Extreme here. Austin with the big bulldog. Got to keep him down while the ref's opening it up. Keep him down while the ref's opening it up. Don't climb it, Austin. Don't do it. Turn around. Wow. Hit by a toothpick. Nice reversal. Get off there, Austin. Make something happen. Hurricane Rana. Get that door open. Going for the pin anyway. Wow. Kick out at two. There's no way he defeats him here tonight. You know, Supreme Austin's in great shape and he has a height advantage on that him but and I'm not sure if you know Floyd Mayweather um defeated Logan Paul. Someone uh two times out of his weight class. That was actually indeed a tie, so you might be just as blind as the blind guy next to me that's trying to uh, watch this show here tonight. Yeah, it's not very good to say. Oh, wait, you are the blind guy. <laughs> that's what I meant. <laughs> You're lucky I'm uh, too old to get back in the ring. I've been whooping your ass like little JoJo if he was 20 years younger. Wow, hell of a twig forearm. <laughs> Kick to the gut. Good punch to the face, big right. Snap mirror. Drop kick to the back of the head. Going for the pin. Damn near stunned, Extreme Austin, one count. Not shit for little JoJo. Pumping himself up, happy after a one count. <laughs> little JoJo, can't climb fast enough. You'll be coming down like Cactus Jack did with the Undertaker. Oh, I'm sorry. Mankind. I forgot because we're blind here. Really just trying to show you why he deserves to be here. Little JoJo looks like he's great. Looks like he had a great position. You know, they were going back and forth, and now it seems she wants to decide she wanted to take a step forward. It looks like he might make it. Stream Austin taking it to the man. Stream Austin slipping around like an idiot. He might just have it here. And that's it. Extreme Austin finds his way out. Little JoJo couldn't match the winner here tonight. Extreme Austin, pure dominance and a win. Uh, I've got to say, uh, a hell of a lot of punches here tonight. Really thrown out. Just great to see. A near pinfall didn't quite have it there. Big, big, big bulldog. Hurricane Rana from hell. <laughs> near fall. I'd probably count if this was out of 10 rounds. Jake won nine of them. Mr. Extreme Austin. Hey, it's where the blind cameraman's looking. <laughs> Did you hire that guy? Here is your winner, X Austin, the X Factor.
What a great win for him tonight. Very, very great matchup as we see uh, Extreme Austin really picking up the weight where he left off. Travis Stevenson no longer on that radar, at least as of now. I'm sure that feud is not over anytime soon, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after commercial break. Jesus Christ, we are here. The Hell in a Cell match, the main event we've all been waiting for to see who will possibly be crowned the TWE uh, World Championship. Uh, here tonight at Extreme Aggression and TikTok. I know, you, I know you called it Hell in a Cell, but here we call it Rage in a Cage. Definitely right there. This is insane. Uh, we've got SPO and Eternal here with me, but a much needed matchup to see who is going to be a contender uh, for the, the championship that's going to go up on the line. Kansas City, Missouri. We're here, here we go. tonight. The main event, and you already know who it is. Tick, 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 tock, tick, 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 tock. No accompaniment of NJM or anybody alike, but he's calm, composed, and ready to go. You know, it really makes me feel like he is a. Face. Just because he never requires a match. I know he did interfere in the match against Tim. Tim. Against El Numero Uno, but he's starting to show a side of dominance that he doesn't need assistance. Tick tock. SBO, what is your thoughts on this match? Who do you think is going to take the win tonight and take the TWE title? I mean, I just can go any way, but we all know with TikTok that he is just a fierce competitor. He likes to play mind games, so he can easily manipulate this match to go any way he wants it to. But when you factor in the cage, it could actually turn the tables on everything. It could also be lead to TikTok's downfall because he's used to these one-on-one -on -one matches, but never these specialty matches. And you know, that's what really makes it great with this Rage in a Cage is that nobody can interfere. Tommy Ventura doesn't have to worry about someone coming outside from the cage. This and as you can see, that, that group drop on his boots. Uh, like they say, the rise and the fall of everybody else. The rise of drop, and uh, you'll never make it up to the top until you drop. And here he is, these main American dream you already know TB Tommy Ventura this certainly is going to be interesting because these two are not too familiar with cage matches we've only seen one the drop one of the members of the drop in a cage match before and it was Kid Crush and he managed to kill it in that match but yeah and you've seen TikTok uh, uh, kind of like introduce Himself into the cage down towards the end against Stream Edgar got a couple of super kicks uh, and a big slam and a couple of punches here and there while Tommy uh, uh, actually old school Tommy Tommy Gun uh, Tommy Blackwell uh, whatever he's going on by nowadays helped him out before uh, homicide in, in, in JM uh, found his way into the cage but like you said no expertise no experience in the rage in a cage I exactly heard that this could go any way you know we did hear backstage that Braden Kell could be making his debut tonight to speak on his next opponent all right to take time. An early advantage of this match repeat after repeat rinse and the cockiness we talked about earlier all those mind games getting into Tommy's head. Will that pay off for TikTok? We'll see right here. Already finding a way to get the sledgehammer. Jesus. No remorse, no care in the world for it. Similar stature, similar height, but just the power between these two. It's magnificent. Already starting off trading blows. Oh, good maneuver by Tommy. Oh, you know, and if a reverse. I was Tommy Ventura, I'd be using the sledgehammer. I'd be trying to bash his brains in. Jesus, Ooh, could, could we be it? Wow. One. One. You know, I'm sure Trey Masters is watching this match 
figuring out who could possibly oh, be his time. opponent for being the number one superstar <clears throat> in Team TWE. Yep, TWE revamp talent wrestling entertainment. Oh, and a miss. And it's a miss. And a good reversal. <coughs> Oh, could be on that sledgehammer. Oh, oh, just missed it. That back body drop. Tommy, uh, obviously taking a little bit more damage here, but finding a way back up. TikTok gonna get hit with some mean blows. Pretty soon they're gonna be on about the same level of uh, pain and induction here. Great one, stun. TikTok, Good, right back down. Could this be enough to put TikTok away? We aren't going to find out. He's not going for the pin. He's going to wear down TikTok a little bit more. He, he, he realized. He realized right after that arm uh, oh. that TikTok found a, a way on that arm. And, and it seems like Tommy said, you oh, know what, I will too. The a little late and there. Kick out one. I don't know what he can't believe. It's just a Here's one kick. what I say. I think TikTok needs to start using the mind that he has to start distracting Tommy Ventura and trying to play mind games. I think that's going to be the key to victory tonight. Tommy Ventura was very fast. TikTok has the power. It's time for them to use their abilities and use them to the best of their abilities. Ooh, He's got it back. Left and, and the right. And sledgehammer. Got right back. It's just a tug of war match. There it is. Oh. Those were successful. Left and right and left and right, oh, but a lariat from hell. <laughs> wow. Right back up. Tommy TV is doing phenomenal tonight. TikTok is going to have to get up. He's going to have to show why he's the main event. And, wow. and he's going for the pin. One, two, and a kick out at two. Could the mind games play any role into this matchup yet? We've only seen a little bit of mind games played. Uh, nothing extreme yet, though. Big shoulder tackle. He's going to uh, dive with it. Going after that same arm, I believe. SBO, yep, I saw it. that you had a receipt for your betting casino online. Who did you bet for tonight? Well, I have to go with TikTok on this one. Just his mind games. Even when he's down and out like this, he could still make a good comeback. You know... TikTok was rated above Tommy Ventura in the stats in the new TWE game. So really, we're really looking at how physical each superstar is and how they use their surroundings to their advantage. Right, right. And I definitely agree with that here. But in a hell in a cell, anything goes. Any weapons, any bit of that cage, any bit of chains, turnbuckles, ring posts, whatever you name it, they got it. You know, I heard that TikTok was trained by a mastermind with the last name Briggs. Yep, Nathan Briggs, the main event, uh, and as well as accompanied by a couple other indies uh, like Jake Logan, Chad Thomas, uh, and many more to come. Uh, I, the, the list goes on and on, but when it comes to the real deal, the mastermind, the man, the myth, the legend, wow. main event Nathan Briggs uh, was the man behind the training of uh Prey masters alike and TikTok. It is just back and forth. Wow. Both of them are just saving their energy. They're not going too deep. They're not going all out. I feel like they're holding a lot back. TikTok has a lot to show, and I feel like he's just getting started. Oh, that's a spear! A spear! That could, could be, it? be it! One, One two, two, two! Oh Take my it. god! Just quick. Witted. Yeah, just the what pure heart and out. will and skill of Tommy Ventura to kick out of that. That's insane. But that the that end of time. Is he going for the clock tower of power? Going for the sledgehammer. Oh, no. Wow. Reversal. That pickup might have been his mistake. Big oh, kick to the boot in the execution. face. That's got to be it right there. One, two, two, three. And that's it. That's it. He got him. He just took too much time. He could have pinned him, could have finished it there. You've seen it. But that big spear was not enough. He had to capitalize with the sledgehammer. Tommy Ventura came out of everything. Tommy Ventura. Fans not, he did not only have the fans on his side, but all other than the fans, the odds were against Tommy Ventura. TikTok was expected to win this one. I just can't believe that it turned out this way. 
Uh, what? Unbelievable. Yeah. I don't believe that TikTok has faced any sort of repercussions from this because I still believe he's a great superstar, but the outcome of this match is just crazy. I and definitely all think to that interference in that last match with NJM, he just did not have any focus on Tommy, and that's probably where his downfall got started. Yeah, I, I really definitely like believe that. That yeah, and I don't mean to cut you off there, Eternal. But as uh, in, uh, our uh, SPO said, uh, it it uh, plays a big factor when you don't go in with a, a level head and you're, you're you're cocky. And as you can see, sometimes it works. The mind games from TikTok work time to time. Uh, you know what? Ninety percent of the time, but uh, this is that ten percent of the time. It probably faded back on him. He he slept on a guy on the likes of uh, Trey Master's brother, and you know, and at least speculation says uh, this can uh, be your downfall. I really like that there was no interferences in this match. It was all to the end of the line. Now there was some mistakes that. Tommy Ventura capitalized on. I do believe TikTok was the better opponent in this match, but Tommy Ventura dodged a bullet. <clears throat> he was lucky. He came out with the kick of execution, and he really showed up tonight and came prepared, and that's what really got him the win here tonight. And I'm curious to hear you guys' opinion on this, but I think uh, with any spur of the moment, any draw of the gun, you uh, get out and ready for that Western showdown. Any flick of the wrist can find each one of these opponents being the winner here tonight or any night of like. I don't know about you guys, but I I could see this being uh, the other side of the card. Um, maybe any other given circumstances or situation or area. What do you think? Um, I think definitely TikTok uh, would have won this match. I think that mistakes were made and that he made some crucial mistakes at the wrong time, which really costed him the match. But I, I have to agree with you. I, I really like Tommy Ventura. I like what he brings to the table. But I think that TikTok just had a bad night and just couldn't execute on the moments that he should have most. What do you think, SBO? I mean, do you, do you really see uh, this being a dull-sided match? Anyone could win this at any other given moment? Do you see uh, TikTok possibly winning this? Or, I mean, should we see uh, results like this every time? Do you see a Tommy Ventura just squash or... Well, definitely what I think is that TikTok definitely needs to get his head back in the game. Those He obviously tried to play his mind games that he's been really well known for that just didn't really work out for him. So he needs to get back in that film room, see where he messed up, find his mistakes, and then he really needs to make some changes on that and definitely get ready for the next time he meets this young man. Uh, agreed, agreed. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world, that was extreme. Aggression will back be back to our normal pay-per-view event. Uh, you know, uh, we will find out and in the coming weeks what our new pay-per-view will be. Uh, but as for Extreme Aggression, we've seen uh, some great matches here tonight. Even before this, you've seen Extreme Austin take on Little JoJo in a tables match. And Extreme Austin definitely <laughs> made it over there. Um, but uh, this main event was one to call for. Uh, we've seen a big G domination of a 1v3. Uh, we've seen an NJM take one over. I mean, it's just a great night. Uh, it's the last two weeks. Uh, I think it was fun overall. And we thank you guys so much. We will see you next time. See you later. Bye. Sponsored by Mountain Dew. Just kidding. <laughs>